There's lots of rain this time of year, so this weekend I began by framing in my gable ends to keep the rain out. Before I lay the decking down, I must first install blocks between the floor joists as a boundary for my floor insulation. Now, on to nailing the deck boards. As a way of recycling and repurposing something old into something new, I reclaimed these boards from an old abandoned structure. I got part of the deck done. I haven't got around to that, but it's getting late. So I just wanted to show you what I got. 
This is uh, uh, wood that I've taken from an abandoned structure out here. Some antique wood. And it just looks so beautiful. See how I did my ends offset. The funny thing is, I didn't have to cut any of these long pieces. When I took them off, they fit just perfectly. It's like they were made for it. <laughs> the other ends I'm going to have to cut though. Um, that's why I'm probably not going to get to that tonight because it's getting late obviously. Sunset. No clouds, but it's still... Still just beautiful out here. You can hear the crickets chirping. And the air is just cool. And uh Yeah, I uh can't wait to just come up here on the weekends and just enjoy life. Anyway. Gotta wrap it up. All right, storm chasing here. People may have, people may have always heard me say that I love Arizona because we don't get earthquakes or tornadoes or hurricanes or anything like that. But here I am about to drive underneath a freaking tornado here in the middle of Arizona. Would you look at that? Oh man, I'm literally going to go right underneath this thing. I got to beat it before it touches down. So, this weekend, before I even get out to my property, I have issues with my Jeep, yet again. The roads are so damn rough out here. My leaf spring came apart. How I know that is because as I was driving, my drive, sh my drive shaft dropped. I was on the dirt road, I pulled over, I assembled my drive shaft back together to get back here to my property. I only had another like five miles of drive. I baby walked it the whole time, but I figured out why my drive shaft dropped. Like I said before, my leaf spring came apart Therefore allowing my axle to shift backwards So if you take a look here You can see how the wheel sits further to the rear It's not centered with the wheel well here That's because This motherfucking thing Falling apart You see it shifted all the way towards the rear here. Fucking push it up against the rear bumper even. It, here's what it's supposed to look like on this side. See how the uh, tire is centered? See how the leaf spring is supported? It's 
So yeah, that's the horse garbage I'm dealing with right now. Plus, look at the weather. It's beautiful. Rain, cold. There's a tornado earlier or a funnel cloud. I haven't got anything done in my cabin, my tiny home today. Don't know if I will. One challenge at a time, one challenge at a time. All right, so here I am, it's the middle of the night. It's cold. I uh, got myself a fire going. Keeps me, uh, keeps me warm, gives me light. I've, uh, I figured out what the issue was on the leaf spring. There's a metal pin that goes through the center of the springs, holds them off from shifting left and right. Well, that metal pin sheared in half. Cheap metal, I don't know. So, I had to rig up my own set, my own pin. And what this here is, it's a metal spike that I've cut down. This is what I'm going to run through the center of my leaf springs. This here is what I've got going on. So, there's a little hole that it goes through. Let me see if I can find the uh, old pin here. Oh hell, I don't know where it's at. Right here? Yep. I don't know if you can see this. That's the old pin. See how short it is? Compared to the one that I made? And about how long it needs to be? Yeah, it was kind of a rough cut there. Right there. I kind of hit it up. I cut it with the uh, with the skill saw. Because I believe I left my grinder at home. Anyway. No sleep. I'm hungry. I got to be at drill tomorrow morning. This just sucks. Yeah. 